Jesse, what seems would, we're not. What would you have done on September the 12th, 2001? What would you have done if you'd been president? What would I have done? Yeah. I would have done a legitimate, a legitimate investigation to find out what exactly happened on 9-11. How did they know who did this so quickly like they did Lee Harvey Oswald? Yeah, I mean, that's a very good point Oswald there, Jesse Ventura. Because the people who did it were identified and we knew who they were. Well, then why couldn't we have stopped them beforehand if they were identified oh, and we knew who they were? It was a failure of intelligence. Very good point, Jesse Ventura, because... It wasn't but a couple of months prior to 9-11. Some doofus that worked for CNN that I now believe is the commissioner of NYPD, by the way. Some doofus, okay, with a camera crew was able to interview bin Laden a few months prior to 9-11, even though the CIA couldn't find him. Bunch of bullshit, all right? And by the way, the... Uh, the Bin Laden was a CIA asset. Bin Laden was a CIA asset under the name of Tim Osman. So, yeah, that's... that's, that's, that's right. no, and, and if you don't believe me, take a look, okay, first and foremost, when King bin Salman, okay, his son Mohammed bin Salman is the crown prince, when he had the purge of the uh, Saudi royal family, why was it that he made the o Osama bin Laden family a part of that purge because the bin Laden family was allowed to be rich. And we knew before with Condoleezza Rice's memo on August 6th when it stated right in the memo bin Laden to steal planes and run them into buildings and more stuff is coming out now also how much the bush administration ignored the intelligence it was almost like they that's because the bush's vacation with the bin ladens it's, it's a fact okay while 9 11 was happening george bush senior was at a meeting by that was uh that was a part of the carlisle group i think you folks need to look up who the the carlisle group is all right, it's a group of investors that, uh, you know, are pretty, uh, that own more than you think they own. But anyway, he was with Bin Laden's brothers on the day of 9-11 in a Carlisle group meeting. Oh, come off it, Jesse. That'd no, not oh, come off it. Every, wait a minute. No. Every war no, no, fought no, no, starts yeah. with a false flag operation. You can't in That is absolutely accurate. And try and make out anybody. How, okay, let me ask you. Let me, wait, wait, wait. let me ask you something. How many, how much studying have you actually done of 9-11 other than what, what the government's told you and what mainstream media has lot, told actually. you? I was editor, I've been studying it for years. I was editor years. of a national newspaper. I've, I've talked and we to people, wait a minute. we in depth every day for really? five, six months. Really? So I know a lot about it. Well, well then how I come, do know is let me ask you this you then. You cannot say that it's a ridiculous thing to say. Ridiculous. Now, I want to be okay, honest. I don't think Bush Jr., I don't think Bush Jr. was involved in 9-11 because I think personally it was Bush Sr. infringing himself upon Jr.'s uh, presidency. And if you want my opinion, I think it was Bush Sr. that was the mastermind behind every lapse of intelligence. I have a tape of a BBC reporter broadcasting directly back to England talking about a third building has collapsed, World Trade Center Building 7. And it hadn't collapsed. Seven minutes. And it hadn't All collapsed. All the while she's talking, World Trade Center Building 7 is still standing right behind her. It didn't fall for another half hour, yet they were doing a pre-broadcast back to England no. that, the, yes, it's true. No, you need to that take it is absolutely fucking true. It, it is yet. absolutely the true. The broadcasting company, one of the most respected news organizations in the world, was inventing huge buildings falling over. You they need to did. have a little, you Oh, need my to have God. A break. I yes, mean, this, we'll this pisses me off. And we'll you talk about it. All right, you know, this is... You know, this guy should be in prison for the fucking wiretapping and message hacking that happened at the sun to be truth be told so that's why this idiot is is following and saying whatever the globalists want him to say well let me show you that all right here it is right here this is the exact video that uh jesse ventura is talking about right jesse ventura that's right. I'm telling everybody right now, you better watch this video and you better make sure to watch it good. All right, let's go ahead. Now, this oh. is the BBC. 
and take a listen, okay? More on the latest building collapse in New York. You might have heard a few moments ago I was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing. And indeed it has. It seems that this was not a result of a new attack. It was because the uh, building had been weakened. Uh, during uh, this morning's attacks. We'll probably find out more now about that from our correspondent, Jane Stanley. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details of... There it is, today. right in back of her. you can see behind me, the... Uh, there it is, right in back. That's Building 7 right there, folks. Clouds of smoke and ash. And we know that behind that, there's an empty piece of what was a very familiar New York skyline, a symbol of the financial prosperity of this city, but uh, completely disappeared now, and New York is still unable to take on board what has happened to them today. Presumably there were very few people in the Salomon building when it collapsed. I mean, th there were, I suppose, It's still up there, as, as Nicole oh, yeah. Jesse Ventura just said. That's what you would hope, because they don't really know where to turn. Uh, that's the very sad thing. I think there's going to be a lot of very, very traumatized people that, that has hit them very, very hard. Jane, I think many of us, when we heard the news, perhaps on the radio earlier today, were uh, completely flabbergasted by it and, and just couldn't un comprehend it. Now I mean, that they realize, take a look, the people that are in the back realize that they done goofed and this is where conveniently the satellite feed is cut. Too far-fetched. I mean, seriously, um, look at this. I was wondering what it's felt like for you being in Manhattan. Look, I w I'm sorry we lost the feed. We lost the feed. Um, I was wondering what it's felt like for you being in Manhattan. Well, unfortunately, I think we've lost the line with uh, Jane Stanley. Of course you Manhattan. lost the line because the f Solomon Brothers building or Building 7 did not collapse like they had said because it was still standing. So... If they knew ahead of time about Building 7 collapsing, isn't it completely plausible that they knew about the first two? Just saying, folks. Just fucking saying.